Hey everyone, I'm Coach Kozak from HasFit, and this is my 25 minute beginner cardio workout. This workout's great for both men and women who are just starting their fitness journey. This is a low impact workout, so you don't have to worry about hurting any of your joints. Now there's absolutely no equipment required for this workout, but if you'd like to, you can either use a pair of light hand weights, anywhere from one to three pounds should be just about right, or as you're gonna see me use in the video, just a couple of water bottles will work just fine. I'm gonna do this entire thing with you. I hope you're ready to work. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with a knee, knee, front kick, front kick. Bring your knees straight up, and then bring your knee up and kicking out. Now, if you can't quite kick as high as I am, or get your knees up quite as high as I am, that's totally okay. You're gonna come back, repeat this workout often, and every time you do it, you'll get a little bit better at it. We're gonna do every exercise for 30 seconds. We're gonna get as many repetitions in as we can in the 30 second time period. Knee, knee, front kick, front kick. Good, next, we have, I have my water bottles on my hands. We're gonna go straight punch, straight punch, hook, hook. Straight, straight, hook, hook. You just get, again, get as many repetitions in as you can, but I want you to use nice, controlled movements and breathe throughout the entire exercise. There we go, and straight, Straight, hook, hook. Then you're getting a twist in on both hooks and we're pivoting our hips on each straight punch. And next one we're gonna do, we're moving on to a posterior swing. So I have both my hand weights. My feet are a little wider than shoulder width, a little bit on my knees. I'm gonna swing through my legs and I'm gonna come up overhead. So I'm looking straight ahead the whole time, keeping my head up, swinging back between my legs and bringing the water bottles straight up overhead. I'm using my hips in this movement. It's less arms, more hips. The water bottles are traveling from the power in my hips. Looking straight ahead the whole time and making sure to breathe. And three, two, one, good. Next, we're gonna do an opposite side raise and leg raise. So one arm comes up, and the opposite leg comes up. Staying balanced, so your leg gets on the ground, you wanna make sure you have a little bend in that knee the whole time. And as always, like I said, we are breathing. Very good, okay, switch it up now. Opposite side, we're doing 15 seconds on each side. Good, keeping it moving. And five, four, three, two, one, all right, we're moving on to a standing twist. So feet are shoulder width apart. Hands up here at chest level, and we're gonna twist side to side. Using our abs and our core, we're twisting at our waist. I don't want you just moving the arms back here. I actually want you to twist at your core, get those abs working, get those abs involved in the exercise. Very good, keeping it moving, we're breathing. We have five, four, three, two, one, and zero. We don't need a lot of bottles or hand weights for this one, so I'm gonna set them down. And I'll put my hands on a wall behind me and I'm raising one knee up and I'm doing mountain climbers. So I'm just alternating, bringing one knee up at a time on a 45 degree angle. So bringing those knees up and breathe. Working at your own pace, I want you to push yourself because nobody else can do it for you, but at the same time, make sure that you're working out, a, working out at a pace that you're comfortable with. There we go, good. Keeping it up, not many left. And three, two, one, zero, good. Let's go ahead and pick up those water bottles for the next one. We're gonna move into a one, two, duck. And the duck is really just a squat. So one, two, feet are shoulder width apart. Weight goes back in your butt and stand back up. One, two, duck, good. One, two, duck, there it is. One, two, and squat down. Try your best to squat until your hips are parallel with the ground. If you can't quite get that far down, it's okay. Again, we'll get better at it, but make sure on that squat, 
you put your butt back first. Don't bend at the knees first, but butt back first. And last one. Good. Next, we hold our weight at our side. We're going to go one, two, three, four. That's all it is. We're stepping forward and stepping back. Nice and light on the balls of our feet. That's the whole thing right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're getting as many of these in as we can in the 30 second time frame. There it is. Good. Keeping that pace up. Breathe and move. There it is. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Excellent. Three, two, one. Okay, we got our hand weights. Now we're going to do side to side punches. Weights on our hips, feet are shoulder width apart. Punch it to the right and then to the left. We're rotating and pointing our thumb as we punch. Punching all the way to the right and all the way to the left. Having that core rotate and twist with every single punch. Great job. Come on, keep it up. Not many left of these. And five, four, three, two, one. Next, we're gonna do staggered butt kicks. We have one arm up, my feet are staggered, but I'll bend on my knees. Now, with the foot that's back, I'm gonna do butt kicks right here. Keeping this one arm up, other arm is relaxed. And for 15 seconds per side, I'm getting as many butt kicks in as I can. There it is, and switch. Now opposite arm is up, opposite leg is back, and I'm butt kicking for 15 seconds. There it is, try your best to keep your balance. Excellent, and five, four, three, two, one. Great job, that's the end of the first round. All right, second round, we're starting right from the top. Going back into the high knee, plus a front kick, front kick. High knee, high knee, front kick, front kick. Get your knees and your kicks as high as you can comfortably. Excellent work. And making sure we're breathing throughout the entire workout. Nice job. Only a few more seconds on this one. And three, two, one, zero. Good, okay, now we're hitting the straight, straight, hook, Hook, straight punch, straight punch. Hook, hook, we're breathing. Excellent work, come on, keep it up. Straight, straight, hook, hook. We're getting as many of these in as we can in the 30 second time period. Leaving it all out there in this workout today. No regrets, giving it everything we got. Good job. And three, two, one, Zero. Okay, I'm going to put both my hand weights together if you're using them. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Then will bend the knees and swing between your legs to overhead. Keeping that head up the whole time will really help you keep your back straight throughout the exercise. And at the bottom, you should really feel a stretch in your hamstrings and in your glutes and your whole back side. Excellent work. Kick that butt back, keeping a little bend in your knees and use those hips to propel you back forward. Great. Okay, next, start with both arms at your side. One arm comes up, side raise, and opposite leg comes up. Very good, we're doing 15 seconds on each side of this one. Good, just a couple more on this side, last one, and switch it up. Great job, there it is, come on, keep it moving. How many can we get? And this a lot of time. Breathe. Nice, come on, just a couple more. And three, two, one, zero. All right, put both hands together. Our hands are parallel with our chest, feet are shoulder width. And it's time for the twist, standing twist. Great job, come on, keeping them moving. So proud of you for coming and working out with me today. Getting started is definitely the hard part. Once we get in it, it's much easier once we get started. Come on, let's go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna set these down for the next one. If you're using hand weights, we're gonna go to the wall. We're doing those wall mountain climbers. Bringing one knee up at a time. Trying your best again to get that knee nice and high. 
gonna get your lungs moving, work your abs, work your legs, your upper body has to support yourself. Just about everything is getting hit on this one. Good, good, good. And let's go five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna need your hand weights again for the next one. Feet are shoulder width apart, hands are up by our chin. We're doing the one, two, duck. One, two, duck. This one's really gonna burn those legs out. That's okay. When your legs get tired, you gotta move with your heart. It's all mental. Seems like it'd be physical, but it's not. It's all in your head. You gotta tell yourself to keep on going. Your fitness is 100% mental. Your body won't move if your brain doesn't tell it to. And five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, four. You step in, step out. That's all it is. If you want, you can either you can use a little line in your, you know, for here I've used a little line in my tile, uh, tile floor. You can put out a rope, or you can just imagine a little line and step over it every time. Whatever works best for you. And I want you to stay light and on the balls of your feet, stepping forward and stepping back. Nice. And three, two, one. All right, hands are up. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're going side to side punches next. Punch it side to side. Hitting this one for 30 seconds. Really want you to get that core twisting on this one. Come on, let's go. Don't just punch here, but twist. Turn that whole body. Look to your left. Look to your right. And punch. Great job. Keep it up. Not much left in this round. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, next we have the staggered butt kicks. Feet are shoulder width apart, staggered stance, one arm up, and we're kicking our own butt. Literally and figuratively today. Come on, let's go. Kicking your butt, we have 15 seconds on each side. Feel that hamstring working. Keep that arm up, keep your back straight. And three, two, one. Switch it up. And hit the other side now. Excellent work. This is the last one of this round. Fighting right to the end of the round. And three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. All right, next round. Knee, knee, front kick, front kick. This is not gonna be easy but it will be worth it. That much I can promise you. Let's go, let's go. One of the best feelings is accomplishing something that you knew you couldn't accomplish just a few short weeks ago. It'll keep you moving, it'll keep you motivated once you really start seeing those results. Let's go, last one, front kick, front kick, knee, knee, nice. Now we're hitting up. Straight, straight, hook, hook, straight, straight, Hook, hook. Come on, get as many of these in as you can. Remember, you gotta push yourself because nobody's gonna do it for you. Let's go. Straight, straight, hook, hook. We're working on the best project you'll ever work on, which is you. Nobody can take that away from you. Let's go. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width for the next one. It'll bend the knees and we're swinging between the legs to overhead. Keeping that head up and using your hips, using your hamstrings to help project you straight back up and help project those hand weights up overhead. Remember to breathe the whole time. Excellent, keeping it going. And three, two, one, last one, zero, nice. Hands at your side for the next one. Side raise, leg raise combo. Remember, we're going half on one side and half on the other. Remember, focus on what motivates you. Switch. Remember, something brought you here today. Whatever that was, whether you just want to get in better shape, whether you want to lose some weight, whatever it is, everybody's different. Focus on that goal. Concentrate on it. Remember what got you here today. Three, two, and one. Nice. 
Now we're hitting the standing twists, side to side. Getting those hands parallel with your chest. And remember, we're twisting at the waist, not just moving our arms back and forth, but instead feeling those obliques and that core engage and that core work. Great job, come on, keep it up. And 10 more seconds of this one. Keep on twisting. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Set these down for the next one. Go into the wall, hit those wall mountain climbers. One knee up at a time. You should be comfortable with these by now. So comfortable means that you know what you're doing. It means that you can push the pace. Let's go, come on guys, you can do it. Believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to? Come on, keep it a moving. And we're more than halfway done with this one. Get those knees up, get those abs working. And three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Pick up your hand weights one more time. Feet are shoulder width apart. And it's one, two, duck. Remember this one, one, two, Duck, I'm sure you do because this is the one that makes those legs burn. That's okay. That's how we know it's working. When your legs start to ache, you start to sweat, and you're out of breath, that's all right. That's how we know it's working. If it was easy, everybody be fit and everybody be doing it, but they're not. One more, and excellent work. Next, we're moving into the one, two, three, fours. One, two, three, four. Stepping in, stepping out. Nice little touches on the balls of our feet. That's the whole thing right there. You want hot feet. Try your best to stay on the balls of your feet and not let your heels come in contact with the ground. There it is, good job. We got 20 minutes of straight movement today. No breaks throughout that 20 minutes. Good, 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 keeping it going. And three, two, one. Zero, side to side punches next. Punch into the left, punch into the right. There it is. Get those twists in every single time. Twisting that whole upper body at your waist. Feeling your core activate. Feeling those love handles get burned off. Let's go. And breathe. 10 more seconds of the side to side punches. Come on, push it guys. Come on, let's go. What do you got? Let's go. And five. Four, three, two, one. Staggered butt kicks. Feet are staggered. One arm up. You know the drill. Kicking, the, kicking your own butt on this one. There it is. Good. You're not going to get that butt you want by sitting on yours. You got to move. Come on, let's go. Keep it moving. And switch it up. Last 15 seconds of this round. Come on, let's go. Moving and moving it. Not much left. And here we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Great work, just one more round to go. All right, it's the last round. We're going knee up, knee up, front kick, front kick. That means it's the last five minutes for the day. Come this far, you can push yourself right to the very end. Let's go. You should have breathed the entire time. There it is, come on. Kicking them up, getting those legs up. I don't care how tired they are, keep them moving. Let's go, doing great. And last one, good, all right? And straight, straight, hook, hook. Straight, straight, hook, hook. We're breathing, we're moving. That's the name of the game at this point. Just keep on moving. Like I said before, your mind is in control not your body. Don't let your body call the shots. If your body's telling you to quit, don't listen to it. You gotta be strong mentally. Come on, let's go. You can do this. You can do anything. And three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Feet a little wide and shoulder width. Your most posterior swings. This is a great one for your hamstrings, your butt, and your lower back. Swinging straight up overhead. Making sure to keep your back straight the entire time. A little bend in your knees. Don't let those knees lock out while doing this one. Nice job. Come on, keeping it going, guys. Not much left. Gonna make it to that finish line today. Think of how great you're gonna feel 
when this workout is all done. And last one. Good. We'll start with our hands at our sides. One arm up, one leg up. Keep them balanced. Keep that leg straight, keep your arm straight. And bring your arm up to look parallel to the ground. Switching sides now. Good job, come on, keep it up. Remember, it's not enough just to work out. You have to have your nutrition and diet in order as well. You can check out Asfit's website where we have our complete free meal plans. Everything there is free, go check it out. Three, two, one, zero. Good, okay. Hitting the standing twist next. Side to side, good. Hands are parallel to your chest. Twisting those abs. This is a standing ab exercise. Great way to work those abs without having to crawl on the ground. Good work, come on, keeping it up. Keeping our heart rate up for just a couple more minutes. We're halfway done with this round. Keeping it moving. Here we go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Seven down. We're going to the wall now. Moving into those wall mountain climbers. Bring those knees up nice and high. Try your best to stay on that 45 degree angle. If it's getting too hard, you can get closer to the wall and just bring your knees up. But I want you to try your best to stay on that 45 degree angle. So you're pressing into the wall. Nice, not much left on this one. Just a few more seconds. And three, two, one, zero, good. Grab those water bottles or hand weights, whatever you're using. And we got one, two, duck. Last set of these, I know these ones stink. I don't like them either, but that's all right, because I like their effect. I like how they work, and that's what we're aiming for, is that end result. It's all gonna be worth it at the end. Come on, let's go. I want you to inspire somebody. I want somebody to look at how hard you've been working, look at the results you're getting, and be inspired by you. And three, two, one, and zero. Good, hands relaxed at our side. Now we're going step in, step out. One, two, three, four, light little touches. That's it, right there. And breathe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There it is. Come on, keep it up, guys. Doing great. Breathe. Remember to breathe. Stay light on the balls of those feet. Light touches. I don't want you to sound like I heard a buffalo. But instead, stay nice and light. There it is. It takes more energy to stay light. It's harder, but you can do it. Safer on your joints. Three, two, one, and zero. Hands are up. And we got side to side punches. There it is, side to side, twist. Every time, full nice twist, there it is, come on. Let's go, keep those punches nice and high. Don't let them drop. And return your hands back to your chin with every punch. Good job, come on, not much left. Pushing with me, fighting with me. Come on, think of all the people at home doing the same workout. We're all hurting together. We're all getting fit together. You are not alone. Come on, three. Two, one, and zero. That's a staggered stance. One arm up, and we're kicking our butt. That's it, right there. Breathe. Not much left. You know, this is the last exercise. Give me everything you got. Three, two, one. Last 15 seconds. Come on. How many butt kicks can you get in the last 15 seconds? Here we go. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Excellent work, you're all done. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Come back and repeat this workout often, and then you'll be able to go ahead and progress to some of our more difficult workouts. If you did like this workout, make sure you check out Asfit's website where we have hundreds of additional free workouts. We have our free meal plans to lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs, all there for you as a service for free. Please do me a huge favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'll really help us keep this great service free. Like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter. 
and we'll send you the best daily motivation. And while you're at it, stop by our store, pick up a t-shirt or a poster, whatever helps to keep you motivated and on track. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and I'll see you at your next workout.